Hello friends, today we will discuss how to show or hide a notation based upon some condition in service now. So for implementing this, we will take one use case today and use case is create a new a notation that is caller is VIP above caller field in incident form and this should be visible when caller is VIP and there is some additional requirement is there that what is that that is a notation text should be in bold and white in color and their font size should be around 18 so i'll tell you like what we need to do like uh, we need to create one a notation a notation text that is above color field and that text should be in the bold and white in color and their size and their font size will be around 18 so without wasting any time let's go to the instance and start this implementation so firstly what we'll do will create this a notation so let's go to the incident dot do or open an incident form here right click on the header click on configure click on form design And from the field types search a notation and from drag it above color yes and save it and you have to just refresh this form and you will see that color uh, that above the color a notation should be visible but we have not added any text right and uh, we have some special requirement like uh, we need to we need to uh, that uh, text should be in bold and their color is white right so let's go to the form layout and you will see that a notation here yeah so here just select the text and here we'll for styling like uh, we'll use the container that is span tag so this is span and we'll assign one ID because we need to we need to use this ID while uh, writing the script uh, it uh, client script. So we'll create for assign this ID VIP underscore caller. And then write style style equal to color. So color what will the color color is white, right? after white they, that should be in bold right that font weight font weight so bold then font that uh, font size is the font hyphen size colon 80 yes now here the closing tag of span and we need to add our text that is color is vip right so we'll add our text between this open and close span tag color is vip and save it so now you will see like uh, it should be visible in the white color that should be in bold format yeah and now the now this requirement came here like uh, when the uh, when the caller is vip then only we need then only this a notation should be visible if the caller is not vip we don't want to we don't want to like uh, show this a, a notation but you may notice that layer size is not showing as a 18 pixel right so let's go to the again configure i think we have done some mistake here go to the form layout go to the a notation yeah so if you see here like we have added the font size 18 but we have not right 18 pixels px here so just save it and now you will see that font uh, their font should be saved. yeah font will be arrive in extra large format that is font size will be around 18 pixels now the second thing is that like we need to write the script include 
स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड फॉर वॉट फॉर चेकिंग द कॉलर वेदर इट्स अ वी आई पी और नॉट सो विल ओपन वन डुप्लीकेट टैब एंड हेयर जिस सर्च स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड क्लिक ऑन न्यू put the name that is vip caller make it is client callable and then we will create one function our function name will be vip check colon function and here we we'll create one variable that will get the input from the like uh, that will receive the input from the client uh, client side so this dot get parameter under this sys per sys per underscore caller then we'll glide the sys user table here so here write sys underscore user here write sys underscore id and pass the variable that is caller and here write return gr dot vip so we are getting this why oh we have not put the comma here yes so now so now if you see here we are just gliding the sys user table and we are checking the sys id of the caller and then we are returning the vip value now vip it's a boolean value right so it will return the true or false but we need to we need this caller value right so we'll pass this caller value from the client side so let's write on for this we'll write on change client script because our objective is that like when the caller is vip that time only we need to show that annotation other than like uh, if, if if it's not vip we don't want to show that uh, this in annotation right so just go to the client script and right here vip caller check select the table and table is incident yes and here select the ui type all select the type is on change on which field name field name will be the caller right so that will be the caller yes and here here in this script include we'll call our we'll call uh, we'll call uh, no in here in this client script we'll call our script include so right where g a equal to new glide ajax and under this will pass our script include name so whatever is our script include name that is vip caller yes now we need to add some um, add some parameters so firstly we need we need to call our function under script no we have created one function right that is vip check so for calling that function we'll write sys per underscore name comma and what is our function name that is vip check let yeah this is the vip check yes 
now we need to pass uh, the caller value for checking uh, for for checking into the sys user table whether our user is vip or not for that right sys perm underscore caller comma new value then we write ga dot get xml answer and here we create one declare one function that is get response then we'll define this function that is get response so function get response and pass one parameter that is answer open their body and write dollar because if you why we are using the dollar it's a like uh, it's a dome object because uh, if you see that uh, a notation doesn't have any backend name so by using the span tag we have assigned one id to the html element and we want to we want to use that html element in the javascript so we'll use the dom that is document object model so here we'll write that is our annotation id that is vip underscore caller then we'll write dot up up dot show but when we want to show this uh, in in annotation text uh, that when when our caller is vip right so we'll put one if condition that if answer equal to equal to true then we need to show this annotation text that is our caller is vip but if we get the false value so we need to hide this right so we'll just cut it from here just instead of show to hide it yeah and make sure one thing like when you using the dome object so you need to uncheck this isolate script option if, if, if you if you not uncheck this so you you will get um, error in your client script that is some type change error you you will get so we'll just save it yeah now let's check just refresh our incident form and you will see that still we are getting this a notation text why because we have not uh, put any restriction on the onloading of the form so what will put the restriction so on loading of the form because the caller is itself is still empty so we don't want to show this annotation text so what will what we'll do we just again go to the client script and just copy this line that is dollar vip caller dot up dot hide and we'll paste below this line and just click on format code and just save it yes now what we'll do we'll firstly make one user as a vip we just go to the user open one user that is our tutor make make it as a vip and save it now we'll just go to the incident you see we are getting still that on chain script type error why let me see here oh it's because if you see yeah so you see that like here the isolate script is checked so that's why we are getting this error that is on chain script error so what we need to do we need to uncheck this and just save it yes now we are just refreshing this form 
and you will see that mm, that error will be not there and that annotation text also not visible here right so if we put uh, able tutor because able tutor is our vip user right so you will see the annotation text see we are getting this uh, annotation text that is color is vip and if we put other than uh, like other than able tutor which is not vip so you won't able to see this in annotation let's say abraham lincoln see that uh, annotation text is not getting visible so our objective is complete so i hope you understand if you understand this please like this video if and if you have any feedback please write in the comment box thank you